I'm mad as hell. I'm angry. I'm trying really hard not to hate her. Oklahoma families are forced to celebrate the holidays without their loved ones. Troopers say an intoxicated driver caused a crash that killed three people. News 9's Clayton Cummins joins us live at OHP HQ tonight. Clayton. Troopers tell me the suspect refused to take a breathalyzer or a blood test, so they got a search warrant. The results in what investigators say the suspect admitted to them has family outraged. The holidays will never be the same for families of Kimberly Hardline, her daughter Madison Faber and Tyler Durham, all three killed in this December crash on Highway 39 west of Purcell. Kimberly, she loved Christmas and, you know, she she's missed that. We and we missed her and Madison dearly this year. 34 year old Patricia McLeod turned herself in after leaving the hospital. Investigators say she became impatient, attempting to pass vehicles when she hit Heartline's SUV head on, killing all three instantly. A car seat saved a toddler's life. I don't know why I'm shocked. I lost a son to intoxicated driver 12 years ago. I don't understand why people feel like it's okay to drink and drive or whatever else they do that makes them intoxicated. According to court records, McLeod told troopers she drank a THC-infused vodka mix prior to the crash. In a search warrant, McLeod stated it's for medical purposes. Why would you do that? And then why would you get behind the, the wheel of a vehicle and drive and think you were okay? I don't understand that. McLeod is charged with three counts of first degree manslaughter. While family takes comfort, justice is near. It lacks what they want most. I just want my kid back. And, we, uh, and she, took, she took everything. Our last check, McLeod is behind bars in McLean County. A judge set her bond at $200,000. She is scheduled to be arraigned sometime tomorrow morning. Reporting live outside OHP headquarters, Clayton Cummins, Oklahoma's own News 9.